Another day, another adventure. Today, my friend slash guide Carlton is taking me northwards to Portmore. And one of the first place we visited is the Caymanas Park. The park is closed today, but thanks to Carlton, we were able to get in for free and explore the area. Now let's talk about the history of horse racing and the park. In Kingston, the importation of horses for breeding and racing purposes goes back in the 1700s, and organized racing started in the 18th century. The first race course was laid out in 1783 in the north of the city. Over time, the races came to involve much more than the races themselves. There was a ritual parade of horses from Harbour Street to Commercial Kingston to the race course, where trial hits will take place in front of a large enthusiastic crowds. With the help of the custodian, he tour us around the area. Starting in the stadium. Now let's talk about the park. A former sugar estate owned by Alexander Hamilton. The track was designed by Bartolomeo Vicente Oliver and was destined to change hands many times over the years. One of the first companies to promote horse racing was Nuts Ford Ford Limited, established in 1904. The company enjoyed a monopoly for 20 years, after which a competing company, Jamaica Turf Club Limited, was formed. The track changed private hands several times and promotional efforts failed, eventually leading to bankruptcy. It was against this background that the government in 1989 formed Caymanas Track LTD. The new promoting company is the Caymanas Park Plan and assets with options to purchase under the leadership of Danny Melville. We saw some of the jockeys practicing and they let us take a picture of them. Then we went inside and saw the posters of the famous trainers and jockeys in the area. Many Jamaican jockeys have had success in North America, including Richard De Paz, who once had the record for the most winners in one day in the Guinness Book World of Records. As an industry, horse racing employs upwards of 20,000 people, from jockeys to breeders, to trainers to bookmakers, grooms and track employees. Jamaica continues to dominate the production of horses in the Caribbean region and has produced a number of Hall of Fame trainers. In terms of the popular culture, perhaps the best known song in which horse racing imagery is featured is a 1968 long shot Kick the Bucket by the Pioneers, which you can hear in the background. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Till next time, bye!